Judy Tyler is one of the most well-remembered actresses of her generation. From modeling to singing to even acting on Broadway, it was no doubt Judy Tyler was a star. She worked the way up the ladder of fame for years before she finally had true success. She was cast for a role in an up-and-coming movie with Elvis Presley. Excited to start her career in film, Judy traveled to Hollywood with her new husband and began filming. Elvis and Judy became close friends during their time on set. Unfortunately, just after filming ended, Judy was tragically killed in an automobile accident. Though the accident shook the world, it hurt Elvis the most. Be sure to watch this video to find out the tragic details behind Judy's death and Elvis's grief. Early Career Judy Tyler was born Judith May Hess, October 9, 1932. Both of her parents were musically and creatively talented. Judy's father played the trumpet in a popular band in the 20s, and her mother was a famous dancer for the Ziegfeld Follies Company on Broadway. It was no surprise she felt the pressure to live up to her parents. Growing up, Judy studied music, ballet, and acting before she attended the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York City, where she was known to have some other famous classmates. When Judy was in her teens, she modeled for an agency that helped boost her career. Judy's agent suggested she change her last name to Tyler. With the help of her agents, she received training to appear on television and radio shows. She worked tirelessly to get her name out to the public and prove she was a star. Her Shot at Fame When Tyler was 18 years old, she earned her place as a dancer on the Copacabana line. During her time as a dancer, she ended up marrying the pianist for the Copacabana Choir. When Colin Romoff heard the talent in Judy's singing voice, he urged her to audition. Only two months after meeting, Colin and Judy were married. In her early years before reaching true fame, Judy worked at nightclubs and bars all across the New York City area. The city kept her busy and opened many doors for the young star. Eventually, Judy got her time to shine when she was cast for a TV role with NBC. She was cast as an Indian princess on the hit children's show Howdy Doody. The show was aimed towards young elementary age children, but Judy Tyler captured the attention of little girls everywhere as well as their fathers. She was known not only for her talent but her stunning looks as well. Though the children's show brought Judy name recognition, she was also known for her many roles on Broadway. Not only was she a performer, she also traveled the country to appear at the grand opening of many supermarkets. Judy's presence at these events would draw massive crowds from all over. By this time in her career, it was clear Judy had a following. Her move to Hollywood Though her career was taking off, Judy's personal life was far from perfect. Due to her high work volume, her marriage with Romoff had been strained. The couple divorced in 1956. Not long after the divorce, she married again one year later, on St. Patrick's Day of 1957. She married a 19-year-old man with hopes to someday become an actor. Gregory Lafayette and Judy were married in Miami, Florida. They then went straight to Hollywood to begin their careers in acting. Unsurprisingly, both of them found work somewhat instantly. Judy was cast as a singer in a rock and roll film, while her handsome husband was quickly snatched up for a role in a war movie called Under Fire. Judy also lucked out when she was cast for a minor role as a stripper in a popular TV series at the time. The young actress received some backlash for taking such a scandalous role, but Judy paid no mind to the naysayers. Not before long, she received her life-changing role in the film where she starred with Elvis. Jailhouse Rock Judy Tyler and Elvis Presley starred together in their famous movie Jailhouse Rock. It was a film produced in 1957 about a man who was put in prison for defending a woman during a bar fight. While in prison, Elvis's character feels a sense of freedom when his cellmate tells him he'll be a star one day. After being released from prison, Elvis's character begins his career as a musician when he meets the lovely Peggy Van Alden, played by Judy Tyler. Peggy works for a record company and sees talent in the man. Eventually, the pair couple up at the end of the movie. Judy got her big break when she was cast as Elvis's love interest in the famous film. Elvis and Judy met on set in 1957. The two actors hit it off right away and got to work on their upcoming film. During the time creating the film, the pair grew very close to each other and developed a true friendship. Though her role in the movie was relatively small, Elvis fought producers to get Judy more screen time. 
Judy appreciated Elvis's courage and his help in advancing her career. Many people suggest there was some kind of romantic fling between the actors, but that has never been confirmed. Over the years, Elvis had acquired a reputation as a ladies' man, who frequently became romantically involved with his co-stars. There are no reports of a romantic involvement between the pair, besides Judy's husband being banned from the film set for being disruptive. Supposedly, he was not a big fan of the romantic scenes between the stars. After finishing production of Jailhouse Rock, Elvis and Judy were forced to part ways. When Elvis asked Judy where she was headed after filming, she had a quick response. They had just rented an apartment in New York City. The couple had only been married four months and were eager to start their life together. Though Elvis was sad to see her go, he also had plans for his future. He was an up-and-coming star with money to spend. He was the new owner of a mansion in Memphis, Tennessee. At the time, the 14-acre property only cost $102,000 with a down payment of just $1,000. Tragedy Strikes Just days after wrapping, Elvis Presley boarded a train to Memphis, and Judy and her husband set out on their road trip to the Big Apple. Judy and her husband were driving through the dark roads of Wyoming at night when a car pulled out in front of Greg Lafayette, Judy's husband, forcing him to swerve into oncoming traffic. The couple's car was hit from the side, killing Greg immediately. Sadly, Judy passed away in the hospital the following morning. She was just 24 years old. News of her death shocked fans nationwide. When Judy passed, Elvis was a broken man. The 22-year-old star had an extremely difficult time coping with the loss of his newly acquired friend. Supposedly, Elvis asked his buddy, George Klein, to drive around with him the day after her death. He drove around town for hours trying to cope with the loss. George said all Elvis could talk about was how good of a person Judy was and that he couldn't believe she was gone. In a public interview, Elvis stated nothing had ever hurt him as bad in his life as the loss of Judy. Many report Elvis never even watched the movie they made together because it hurt too much. He considered going to Judy's funeral but decided against it so as not to cause a disruption. Jailhouse Rock proved to be a huge hit in Hollywood, but sadly Judy was not around to read the raving reviews. It's no doubt she would have been an even bigger star had she survived. Now it's time to hear from you. What do you think about the relationship between these two co-stars? Did Elvis and Judy have a romance off-screen, or were they just good friends? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.